आज ही डाउटनेट ऐप डाउनलोड करें डाउटनेट पर होगा अब आपके सभी मैथ्स केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स और बायोलॉजी डाउट का सफाया बस अपने क्वेश्चन की फोटो खींचो उसे क्रॉप करो और तुरंत वीडियो सोल्यूशन पाओ डाउनलोड नाउ हेलो माई डियर स्टूडेंट Here the given question that uh, put that the relation of congruence modulo n on the set uh, Z of all integer is a is an equivalent relation. At first, what is equivalent relation? Equivalent, equivalence relation. What is equivalent relation? A relation is called equivalent relation if it is reflexive. Okay. and it is also symmetric also symmetric and it is also tangent okay so uh, at first uh, at first we draw uh, we assume let let uh, r be relation from z to z from z to z and this relation is defined by now we define the relation here the relation uh, now we use uh, the congruence modulo so a a related to b if and only if when a congruent ab congruent modulo in modulo m okay so now we check this relation that is r is reflexive symmetric and tangent if uh, all the condition is satisfied then we have the, then we can say the that relation is equivalent first we check number 1 first, first we check reflexive okay so what is reflexive reflexive is nothing a, a relation r from a to b is called a reflexive relation if a related to that is not that is a, a so a to a then uh, uh, rela that relation r is called reflexive if a related to a for all a belongs to a okay so here we check now now a here a minus a which is zero also zero is divisible by m which is divisible by m where m is an integer and uh, that imply a congruent a modulo modulo m so here a is a arbitrary arbitrary integer so for arbitrary integer that is that we can say a congruent modulo m a congruent a modulo m for all a. so 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 here we have a related to a for all a belongs to z that's why that's why r is reflexive okay now come to the next point number 2 symmetric so how we show a relation is symmetric if we assume a related to b then it imply b related to a then we can say that relation is symmetric so at first let a comma b belongs to that's two integer that is z and we assume a related to b so that imply a related to b uh, what do you what do you know a related to b uh, when it is true then a congruent b modulo m because that is a And that that type of relation is defined. So here we here we have that imply a minus b is divisible by m. Okay, so a minus b divisible by m that imply b minus a also is divisible by m. B minus a also is divisible by m. So that imply b related to a. Okay, so we have a related to b. we simply b related to a that's why r is symmetric so r is symmetric now come to the next part uh, that is transitive okay so 
how we show a relation is transitive if we assume a related to b and a related to b and b related to c if we if we show that a related to c then that relation is symmetric so for this purpose we assume a b c b 3 integer that is belongs to z and we assume a related to b and b related to c so a related to b imply a minus b is divisible by m is divisible by by m and b minus c eh, sorry b related to c what do you mean b related to c that is nothing b minus c is b minus c is divisible by divisible by m so so uh, that can be written as a minus b uh, because a minus b is divisible by m m so that can be written as k1 m okay also b minus c is divisible by m, divisible by m so we can write this b minus c equals to k2 m now if we add this then we have a minus c equals to a and common k sorry common m then we have k1 plus k2 where uh, k1 plus k2 is an integer so uh, here you see that a minus c equals to m into some integer so that's imply a minus c is divisible by m okay divisible by m that's why that's why a congruence modulo m okay now that's uh, so finally we have we assume a related to b and also we assume b related to c which imply a related to c that imply a related to c that is so we have a related to c so r is symmetric sorry r is not symmetric it is transitive so r is transitive okay so by 1 2 and 3 therefore finally we have uh, you know uh, you know when a relation is reflexive symmetric and transitive then that relation is called equivalent relation so here we check uh, r is reflexive also r is uh, here we have r is symmetric also here we have r is transitive so from 1 2 and 3 we can say that that uh, or we have we have we have r is r is equivalence relation equivalence relation on z okay that's prove it thank you class 6 to 12 se leke neat iit je mains or advanced ke level tak 10 million se zyada students ka bharosa aaj hi download kare doubt net app ya whatsapp kijiye apne doubts 8400400400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400